So starting off the prep week, we got some supplements in from Bear Performance Nutrition. This is what I picked up. So we got two more containers of G1M Sport. I decided to try some of their whey protein. And two more containers of Strong Reds and two more Strong Greens. So something that I've done wrong in the past is changing how I eat and prepare for races, which differs a lot from how I prepare and eat around regular training. I like to try and eat cleaner during or before races, which is not really reflective of how I perform normally. So you wanna be consistent with that. Historically, I haven't been. I got a food sensitivity test about, well, a few weeks ago, and basically it tells me foods that I would be highly sensitive to, uh, moderately sensitive to, and everything that's good to go green. In the past, I have experienced discomfort before races, and it's very likely because I would try to introduce these things into my diet that I wouldn't normally have during training, like I said. So some of these things could be oranges, like orange juice for whatever reason. I go on a massive orange juice binge before races. Vitamin C, hazelnuts, oats, cashew nuts. These are all things that are, that are foods that I'm intolerant to, which I've eaten in the past around races, but not during training which explains why I get weird discomfort around races. So getting one of these tests done, they're super cool. It's called an IgG food sensitivity test. And I will cover this in another video more in depth, but just thought I'd share that. So I will have a more consistent plan going into this race this weekend, which I haven't had in the past. Yesterday was my last heavy day going into the race on the weekend. So we did 10 by uh, peak power that has to be within 90% of what of the peak power that you can generate on the erg. Um, so for me, I basically had to keep it above 900 watts and change uh, for 10 sets. And then immediately after we had a weight session and then in the afternoon we did 10 by 500 meters at um, two minutes rest. And I'll show a screenshot of that now. Um, so yesterday was a heavy day, I made sure to eat a lot for some recovery but now I need to get back into a more regular routine going into the weekend it's Wednesday right now so um, I'm gonna do a really really light spin for about 90 minutes on the bike and then we'll get into the rest of the day and prep
So it's about 11.20 right now and I am off to school. It's a very late start uh, compared to what I normally do. I don't have class until like one o'clock. Got to sleep in a bit and do the bike at home today instead of going into train with Rowing Canada. And uh, yeah, so sort of I'm just going in so I can catch some lunch at school, uh, get some work done before I have economics uh, at about one o'clock. Sound with your shoes on, and I'm just put two on, getting wasted, tainted. I danced my ass off and had this one. Now, body it can and repeat after me. I finished all of my classes for the day. I did not bring the camera with me because I did not want to be that guy. But now it's time to go train. I have normally a two by 40 minute uh, erg. I'm gonna do one of the 40 minutes and do the other one on the bike just cause I don't want to creep into UT1 zone or category five. So to ensure that I can control my heart, heart rate a little bit better. Spinning for the second piece, get some good recovery after yesterday's heavy day of uh, weights and anaerobic activity. So I just finished up the erg session with uh, at the provincial center. I did 40 minutes, just light, low end of uh, low end watts for steady state, and then uh, finished up with some heart rate training on the bike. Just pushing watts based on heart rate, make sure that we're getting recovery in. Now I'm heading back in to eat, and tomorrow and Friday will be the last two days of prep. They'll be should be ready for Saturday. So it's about 6:30 right now, and I'm definitely burning the candle at both ends. Even the late start today did not seem to help my case. So this right here is dinner tonight. So I've got a protein shake and some salad. Should be good to go. provincial center uh, it's about 6 a.m. so practice is about to start and I'm gonna do about five sets of peak power this morning and then a very lightweight session kind of tapered back and then this afternoon I will do just 
one 750 at 2k pace and then two by 25 minutes at cat six and tomorrow i'll get a bit of a sleep in and just do a little bit just a little bit of prep for uh, before the 2k and so yeah i'm gonna go and get that done now should be light so I've done the workout. I did around a thousand watts for each of the peak power sets and then I hit a quick weight sesh and now I'm back at school. Gonna do some work. My day's a bit heavier today than it was yesterday. Yeah, it's a bit more regular. So let's get it. prep part one and tomorrow we're gonna start getting prepared after a good sleep in and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed